Stop 1, Introduction. Welcome to the 2012 exhibition audio tour of Together, Collages by Judith King and Photographs by Tony King. The content for this audio tour was selected from the words of the artists themselves and original text by Pucker Gallery associate Perry O'Satton. Thank you and enjoy. Stop 2. Some of Tony King's more abstracted photographs, including Wall of Crystals, Confetti, and Ice Flight, feature gorgeous displays of these natural formations. Texture and the play of light, as well as the subtle differentiations in color, make these photos come alive, so much so that one is compelled to reach out and touch the crystals. And yet they are ephemeral. In Tony's own words, quote, We live in a funny old house, and in the middle of winter, early in the mornings before the heat comes on, I stumble around to certain windows in my pajamas to see them. These wonderful crystals form due to the disintegration of our house. They form from the condensation on our leaking windows, and when the heat comes on, they disappear. End quote. Stop 3. Tony King's fondness for animals is readily apparent in much of his work. Sandy Girl, for example, is a wonder of both visual texture and humor. A large snapping turtle stares right out at us, its mouth set sternly and its eyes just barely visible beneath layers of coarse sand. The turtle and sand are similar in color, too, so the illusion of an ancient creature emerging from the earth right before our eyes is complete. According to Tony, this turtle was in the process of laying eggs when he took the photograph, and in the artist's words, snapping turtles have a, quote, knack for survival and seem to get along in our world, end quote but people misunderstand them. Of course, the title of the piece anthropomorphizes the animal, making her a bit more relatable and a bit more human, presenting her to us the way the artist really sees her. Stop 4. The so-called perfect door in BA349 is, of course, imperfect. In the artist's words, it is, quote, crude and ill-hung. I was staying at a little inn in Vermont, and it's what I saw when I was going to bed. Another pajama picture, end quote. It is the door's imperfection that attracted Tony to it. He says, quote, Doors are wonderful architectural flourishes. They separate one world from another. You either close something in or exit for freedom, end quote. If the doorway is a metaphor for life choices and opportunities, then no wonder the one in this photo is imperfect. Stop six. Boats and the seaside are prominent elements in Judith King's work. From the current exhibition alone, works such as Sunrise, Summer Dream, Mississippi, Lobster Boat, Boathouse, and Rockport Harbor attest to her love for the water. Another piece, simply titled Harbor, really showcases the complexity of Judy's layered compositions, as well as her deft use of color and geometry. The piece is positively undulating with energy, from the rolling hills in the background composed of several shades of green, yellow, and brown, to the many houses and structures in the foreground, packed closely together in multiple planes. Stop 7. In contrast to Judy King's many New England-inspired seaside pieces, one can practically feel the dry, hot air emanating from the desert in Giant Saguaro. The color palette is earthier and more muted here, featuring the dusty brown of the sand, a single leaf, and some dry desert grass. However, the pink and orange-yellow tones in the sky and the rich light green of the eponymous cactus plant, standing proudly and starkly in the middle of the composition, lend some brightness to the scene. The calmness, stillness, and solitude in this piece seem to come from a place of contentment rather than loneliness. Stop 8. The small scale of Judy King's collages is conducive to the intimacy of her homey domestic scenes. A piece called Blue Shutter, which lovingly calls attention to such a small detail, is a prime example of this type of work. The shutter, the ensconced plants, the simple wooden door, the fresh white painted clabbered, the red brick walkway, the front yard foliage, and the raucously patterned window curtain all give this particular house a distinct personality and identity. Even though this piece, like most of Judy's other such collages, focuses on the exterior of the house rather than the interior, there remains a sense of coziness and openness, as if we have stumbled upon a secret dwelling.